research research i used to live off the internet anything about masters anything about scholarships i was there hello guys hi welcome for those who are subscribers welcome back to my channel for those who are new welcome to the video i hope you will enjoy it so in today's content i'm going to be covering um how i got my master's degree admission this will be my personal experience by the way as well as how i got my fully paid scholarship to study for my master's degree so i'm currently enrolled in a university in china <laughs> guys i will make a video on why i decided to study in china because i get that question a lot <sighs> and that's just a video on its own a full video on its own i don't want to cover it in today's um in today's video so be sure to subscribe to my channel click the notification bell so that you get an update whenever i post a new video be sure to subscribe because i'm going to be covering content in my next videos content on why i decided to study in china because i had three admissions from three different uh, universities in three different countries it was the uk australia and china i will cover why i decided to study in china i'll cover some of the challenges of studying in of being enrolled in china and then i'll also discuss uh, how to ace your master's interview how to write your master research proposal so on and so forth so basically i created this channel just so that i can share that kind of knowledge with you guys because i noticed there isn't a lot of youtube content creators who cover master's programs who cover scholarships so on and so forth so if you're interested in those things be sure to subscribe <laughs> okay now let's begin um i'll be sharing some of the tips some of the things that i did personally that benefited me a lot and number one thing like i mentioned earlier i had three admissions in three different countries from three different universities and all three of them were fully paid so i'll be sharing some of the things that i did that took because it's nice when you have options you know so i'll be sharing some of those things that i did in order to have those kind of options and then choose for yourself so number one is research i kid you not research 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 i used to live off the internet anything about masters anything about scholarships i was there i was making sure that i was into every little detail that covered those two topics so if you want it, I, I guarantee you, you'll never go wrong. Number one, research the type of schools. Number one, research the type of schools you want to study into. Have skills that you are interested in. And schools you know that you want to do your master's program, your degree program, your PhD, whatever. Have those type of schools. And then be familiar with their entry requirements. Be familiar with what they want. In my case, I knew I wanted to do my master's degree when I was doing second year of my bachelor's, I was very sure that I wanted my master's. So from there, that was like two, three years ago, I started looking into master's program. I started looking at universities that offered my program, universities that were in line with my career goals, with what I wanted to do, the missions, as well as the location, the country. If you want to study in a cold climate, the hot climate, whatever it is, research and be sure of it. Be sure of the entry requirements. Be sure of, you know, the extra curricular activities that can put you at an advantage in terms of that school. Is it an athletic school? Is it, you know, a school that focuses more on cognitive abilities? Be sure of those type of things. And then the second thing, if you're looking for a scholarship, if you don't want a scholarship, you can just research about the schools and it's fine. But if you're like me and you couldn't afford to pay for your scholar for your school, you couldn't afford even a special scholarship, you're looking for a fully paid scholarship, you need to be familiar with the kind of scholarships you want. If you want to study in Australia, know the scholarships in Australia on fully paid I mean, which are fully paid, no scholarships in China, no scholarships in the US that are fully paid and be familiar with them. Know their opening window. For example, the Australian government scholarship, you know that the opening window is between December, January, summer day, I mean for Botswana. So you need to be prepared to know that 
this coming January, I have to hand in my application. I have to hand in my medical report. I have to hand in my passports, my criminal record, my research proposals so that you can be prepared. If you're looking into the US, the chi uh, China, there are different scholarships. So be sure of the scholarships that you want. For example, in the UK, I was very much interested in Chevening. I was interested in the Commonwealth scholarships because those were the fully paid scholarship. So be familiar with them. Make sure that you know each and every little detail about them. And then the third thing that I did personally, because I didn't have anybody who did masters in my family. I'm the first girl to ever attain university degree. I uh, will be the first girl to get my masters. And hopefully I'll be the first person to also get a PhD, you know. Um, so if you're that type of person and you don't have really anybody who can advise you, the internet is there if you know how to use it. So I subscribed to numerous um, websites. Uh, I, was, uh, I subscribed to scholarship positions. I'll write the name in the description box below scholarship positions and they'll send me emails daily i think no i think it was monday wednesday and friday they send scholarships to you scholarship that you might be interested in in different countries and yeah so that's how i was you know um i was able to be up to date with some of the scholarships and also there is master's portal i'll also write it below Master's portal is basically where you search different master's program, the program that you want, and then they'll show you the type of country. You can search by country, you can search by um, program, you can search by duration, scholarship, so on and so forth. So some of those um, things are very beneficial. Like for me, I got most of my scholarship, knowledge of my scholarship through my master's portal and my in my scholarship positions and also i used to attend a lot of seminars on like i said i knew that i wanted to do my my masters while i was still in university i was still doing my degree so whenever there was a seminar on scholarship i always attended because i wanted to make sure that it was something that i liked and it was some i wasn't missing out on anything i attended the shivening um Seminar. I didn't know anything about Shivening. There was a University of Botswana Shivening seminar. I went there, I attended it, I fell in love with it, and then I decided I was going to go apply for it. I attended the Russia um, Scholarship Seminar in UB. Didn't like it. Also, Russia wasn't in one of the places that I wanted to study, so you know. So that's how you can know yourself. That's how you can know better what you want to do. And also, I would advise that you apply, 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 apply. Like I said, if there is a particular university, have a lot of universities that you are interested in. Have four, five, ten, and make sure that you apply for them. In my case, most of the universities that had um, application fees, I couldn't apply for them because, girl, I'm poor. <laughs> so you'd find that the um, application fee is around 150 US dollars. You convert that to my currency that's 1.5 i was still a student so most of the time i was looking into universities that did not have um application fees or universities where you paid application fees after you got your acceptance and your admissions so apply to as many as you can apply as much as you can because you stand a better chance i applied to like five universities and i got or more or more i'm not sure but, and then i got close to five acceptance letters but two of them two of these were not uh were not fully paid so i didn't go for them and then i went the three ones that i mentioned earlier were fully paid so those are the ones i kind of focused on and then also have a backup plan i applied for the commonwealth scholarship i i got i had an admission in bristol university I applied for the Commonwealth Scholarship, got into the interview round, but didn't make it through. Don't know why. But I also applied to numerous scholarships. So I was chilled. I applied for the Chinese Government Scholarship. I got it. I got the. I got. I went through the interview. I went through the selection criteria, so on and so forth. And I also applied via an agent. Yes, I applied via an agent. An agent was sort of just like a backup plan. Again, with agents, make sure that it's somebody who is legit, they're not a scammer. 
when you get your acceptance ticket to the embassy to verify it for you foreign affairs to verify it for you you can even call the university to verify for you on your behalf i will also make a video on whether you should apply tips on how to apply via an agent so that you don't get scammed but yeah i also applied through an agent i got the scholarship i got the fully paid scholarship via my agent so you know just have a lot of backup plans and basically that was it guys this video was very short but just to summarize it up one know your schools know the schools you want to study into for me, I knew I wanted China, I knew I wanted Nantam University, and that's the school I went to. And like I said, I'll make a video on why I decided to study in China. Number two, have scholarships that you know you want to study into, and make sure that you follow those scholarships, you're familiar with them. Number three, make sure you subscribe to um, online platforms that can you know notify you whenever there's a new scholarship or scholarships that you may not know of so that you can be up to date and also attend seminars or any other academic stuff that educates you on applications on masters and scholarships and so on and then also have a backup plan if back if plan a doesn't work you have another school if scholarship a doesn't work you know you have a backup plan for scholarship b but that will be all guys for today um in my next video i'll be covering the content that i made that i mentioned so be sure you like uh this video be sure to subscribe be big show and also you're allowed to um i mean please ask me questions questions in the comment sections questions that you want me to address in the videos next time questions that you may be curious about and you want me to answer them and i'll also leave my email in the description box so that you can email me some of your questions some of your comments that you might not be clear with but that is all for now guys i hope you like this video like i said i always make sure that i keep my videos short and yeah i'll upload more videos and more content for you guys but for all for now that is all thank you for the love thank you for watching this through the end